Hey there, I'm really glad you've joined me for this four part series um, called The Worm Has to Turn. Now, I know you're wondering what this is all about. And we're going to be reading over the next four weeks in Joel chapter one, all about locusts, canker worms, creepy crawly things. Um, don't worry, it's not going to be horrible. We're going to bring the word of God in and um, I just feel it's really prevalent in this time how much pestilence because that's what the pandemic is it's a pestilence that has come in and invaded us and it's stripped us bare of businesses of going to places where we would like to go um it's it's stopped us doing things so um i've really feel this series is going to bless you and it's going to help you to get through the next season of this pandemic and God put a word in my spirit in the beginning of the year and it was unity and I thought oh that's interesting unity and now um, now we're in July um, I can see I can see why he he said unity because we really need to be together and um, and work as a community to uh, eradicate this pandemic and um, to be unified together. So um, no better place to start than in the Word of God. So um, I'm going to read from Joel one verses two to four, and we'll go from there. So I hope you got your Bible. I've got the voice Bible. I read out the voice Bible. I like the story type um, way it is. So, um, and it says, verse 2, Joel 1, verse 2. It says, Hear this, elders and leaders. All who live in the land shall pay close attention. Has anything like this ever happened? <laughs> has, I mean, has anything like this ever happened? No, not in our lifetime and that's what it says no not in your lifetimes or your fathers so be sure to tell this story to your sons and daughters your sons shall tell their sons and so on for generations verse 4 it says we have been invaded oh yes we have what well, the cutting locusts le left the swarming locusts consumed what the swarming locusts left the creeping locust consumed what the creeping locust left the stripping locust finished off <laughs> so you know not the it's the cutting locust they left something so then the swarming locust came in and whatever they left then the creeping locust came in and consumed and finally the stripping locust just decimated it all and finished it off and maybe that's how you feel in your life right now. Maybe you've had your business stripped from you. Um, I don't know what what you're going through right now, but I, I really hope that this is blessing you um, because the Word of God is going to line up. We need to line our thoughts up with the Word of God and what He says because the enemy will come in and he will strip you of everything because he doesn't care so um i celebrated my 25th wedding anniversary in january so yay and i know i can't believe it myself either um and i've got two adult children now and um yeah it's it's weird because it goes so quick but then you look back on old photographs and you think oh my gosh it's it's quite a long time and so you know we were celebrating that and um and now we're in this pandemic um but i was thinking about the marriage and how we say in sickness and in health and um for better for worse and and it feels like um have the two people come together as one and it's unified and that's what we are we're, we're unified and you know it's not always been butterflies and hearts and romance uh you know there's been there's been tough times through the 25 years and and that's where the enemy gets in with the locusts the canker worms the caterpillars they try to eat away at unity 
and um, they try to eat away at marriages and uh, and not your family. And but as the prophet Joel points out, that he he says we have been invaded. And I think we need to realise that sometimes the enemy is coming in and is like, we are being invaded and we are not standing for it. So, and every invasion on our oneness as our unity, as a community, has come through in a variety of different ways. And each one, each canker worm, each locust, um, it has a large appetite and it eats away at what you're trying to plant and what you're trying to grow. So if you're trying to plant and grow a good marriage, it'll come at you. If you're trying to plant and grow a business, the canker worm, locust, enemy's going to send it. And especially when you're saying, okay, God, I'm doing this for you. This is for your glory. And, and then the enemy just sends in the pestilence. We all know. We've been there. And maybe your dream maybe you are dreaming of um a business or um whatever your dream is maybe the enemy is bringing the pestilence in um because in this time of pandemic people have had the space to think and to think what would i like to do with my life what's that dream that i really wanted to do and and now they feel they've got the space to do it but then the enemy is going to bring in the pestilence and uh, the locusts and the canker worm to strip to 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 pull it apart and and strip it bare um to stop you from doing your calling doing your purpose so um i'm just looking in my notes <laughs> um so yeah each one has a large appetite for the planting and the growing of your whatever you want to try and achieve and then there's nothing left but tweaks and desolation and then they'll strip your confidence and your confidence gets stripped and yeah uh, and then your bravery uh, they polish that all off and um, and a nice big slice of your fighting spirit that that goes to and yeah it's it's really uh, devastating when when that happens but it's good because the word of god is always there to bring us back to remember our true identity in god in christ and uh, but it says in joel 1 6 7 it says their army is strong and this is how we feel their numbers cannot be counted and they attack with teeth as sharp as lions. They bear their fangs like a lioness. My vines are ruined. That's how you feel. Your vines are ruined. My fig trees are reduced to stumps now. These enemy insects have stripped off the back and tossed my trees aside like refuge. The branches lie bare, broken and white. And maybe that's where you are at the moment. But... You may be ruined, you may be reduced to stumps, you may be stripped bare and you may be laying broken. But God restores and that is the good news, how God restores. And he can bring something back that may seem dead, may seem stripped bare, broken, ruined and he can restore it and he brings it back to life because that what is so good at he's a restorer and he brings it all back so john 10 10 my go-to scripture i always remember this because um whenever the pestilence comes in i'm like yeah john 10 10 says that the enemy comes in to steal, kill and destroy. So anything that the, that's stealing, killing and destroying, you know it's not from God. It, God is a restorer of life. He gives life and uh, life abundantly. And Satan will send in a whole swarm of locusts to destroy the potential of your dreams. Not just your dreams and what you're trying to accomplish, but the potential so the, the potential, when he strips you with your confidence, when he strips you of your, your being brave and stepping out, the potential's gone then. And that's what you've got to be careful of. 
And when we're in agreement with God's word, though, he he can't um, come near us because when we're in that unity with God, like a marriage, um, he 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 can't get in so quickly and so stealthily um and there's oneness that no locusts no canker worm and no caterpillar can swarm creep or strip away from you and nothing can separate you from that love of god um and a restoration is where god does his best work so your thoughts though need to line up with god's word this is where the battle begins once we start reading this once we start reading our bible and knowing what our, who we are in christ our own identity then the pestilence um can't get in so quickly so what i'm the the thought i've got is if for 25 years me and my husband have been married um but if i counteracted everything that my husband said about me then there'd be no unity if he said oh you know this looks this is you wendy and and i'd be like no it isn't that's not me this this is what i do this is you know he probably picks up on my fault quite a few times but um <laughs> uh, of course i've got no fault um but um yeah, she says. Um, but yeah, um, my what I'm saying is that um, we've got to be together, and um, what God says about you is what is true. Because Satan's a liar, and there's no truth in him. And so, if I told my husband that his vision, his words, his thoughts had nothing to do with my vision my words and thoughts we wouldn't be together in unity so you know when god's got a plan for you and you're like no that's not right that's that's not that's not what we're doing um there, there's there's room for that then that pestilence to get in there's room for the canker worm and for the for the locusts and the creeping horrible things to come in so you need to be unified with god definitely just like a marriage so we wouldn't be one and my husband and i wouldn't be in agreement and we certainly wouldn't be celebrating 25 years of marriage um so the recovery of the devastation that the worms have eaten in your life starts with turning to god and asking him to forgive forgive you for thinking thoughts about yourself that are not true that are not in his word um self-talk is so it can be like a pestilence um so we need to stop that stop that right there and, and get in the word of god and read exactly what he's saying about you so this year 2020 the year of the pestilence probably that's probably what we're going to call it um but you know what god's a restorer and it doesn't matter how much the enemy is stripped from you god restores and he rebuilds and he brings back better better than ever so this in this season look at it that you can get into the word of god you can read exactly what god says who you are and whose you are and he will stop that pestilence in your life and he will restore everything that's been stripped bare ruined uh, by the locusts and the canker worms so that's my thought for this week um, so I hope you join me next week um, for part two. Um, so yeah, read Joel one because it's really um, it's really good. And we're gonna we're gonna keep in Joel one, and we're gonna see how God is gonna restore everything, and He's gonna bring it all back. 
and um, I'm really excited to see what he's going to be doing in your life. So I hope to see you next week. <laughs>